Hey, I'm Brian Slasher in Suits. What's going on, dudes? And today we're covering the almighty Halloween kills. Exactly. Kills mean a whole shitload of kills. But remember how Halloween 2018 ended? Right? Laurie and the Strodes trapped Michael Myers in the flaming basement trap. This movie picks up right from there. Man, I made like, like 10 videos about how he could possibly get out. And I fucking knew it, dude. He hid in uh, Laurie's weapon cabinet. Boo! The very first kill was that firefighter with that Helga bar. And see, the firefighter fell through the hole that Laurie shot in the first place. I guess the fire like ate through it a little bit more. Wow, those first two kills are pretty awesome. So, the, And it's a question of how did he escape exactly. So he reaches for this guy's hand, but does he pull him down or pull himself up first? So to me, it just seems like the firefighter thought he was helping out his partner, but in, he inadvertently helped out Michael Myers, who, you know, no gratitude at all, probably killed him for it. And, you know, Michael's the only one who walked out. You think that could earn a person a pass, but not with Michael. firefighter he seems pretty strong too if he could pick up another man like that as well then of course michael goes off on the whole fire department it pales one throws his halogen bar through someone's face shield then i guess the jaws of life or chainsaw guy was like all right fuck this and came at him with like not even the jaws of life like they had that big old circular saw i guess they used to cut like down doors and everything goes at him and but right michael sort of turns it around and pretty much chops this dude right in half this is probably my favorite golden whatever kill of the whole thing because michael hardly uses like a mechanical device like a a chainsaw or a circular saw like that and they just rides it all the way down it, it was Pretty much the best kill of the movie. And we get to the scene later and the whole house is burnt down, but there's also a ton of more firefighters on the ground. We saw more firefighters, but we didn't see all of them die. But the news said 11 die, so let's kick up the number to 11. No one told you. Told me what? Somebody in there? Michael Myers is alive. And this sequence is pretty neat. So Michael takes like a fluorescent light from the kitchen and sticks it right at her neck. Oh man. It shows that like he's trying to branch out and do different sort of kills. That's what I really appreciate about this Michael. See, the old man didn't die just from like getting bumped on his head. I mean, he could have, but see, oh, very cool. He puts down the fluorescent light and like, hey, I didn't finish off that old man. There's tons of elderly abuse in this movie. I guess because Halloween 2018, he killed nothing but teenagers. And this one, he's really killing a lot of old people. And this guy, man, totally overkill on Michael's part. Like, one knife wasn't good enough. He's already dead, Michael. You got him. Because this is like Michael doing his art. Because he realizes the guy's already dead. And he looks at him right there like, ah, you know what? Nah. <laughs> this guy needs like three more knives. Just so when someone finds his body, they go, wow, that was Michael Myers doing his thing. Hey, Michael, this is for Dr. Loomis. <laughs> that was funny man that's either really dumb on her part and michael's like well all right shoot me or he was up on the roof counting because he crawled on top of the roof of the car and i guess he 
might have seen what kind of gun she had and counting down the bullets, but Marion Chambers, she fucked up. Marion Chambers, the nurse, is the legacy character from 1978 who got carjacked GTA style by Michael in the very first movie. So she lived, she's died it a couple of times, like she died in H2O, but what else did she mean by this is for Dr. Loomis, right? Those were her final words. Are you implying that Michael Myers killed Dr. Loomis? I guess we gotta wait and find out how Dr. Loomis died. Uh, and this guy, he's trying to choke Michael Myers with a stethoscope that is not even a real one. It's like a prop from your Halloween costume. I don't think that's going to work. And Michael knows it. It gives him a look like, man, you messed up. But this next kill is like the best gore you get out of the whole movie. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was instant, fast, quick. You see full penetration. <laughs> it's just awesome. And it's, you know, we see Michael stab a lot of people, but we haven't seen something like that. And it's the way how he sold it. Like, oh, man, he's got to hang on for a little bit until he finally kills over. The selling is what really sold that kill, too. The sexy nurse that was also in the back, she accidentally shot her own damn self. So, I don't know if you could count that on Michael. Michael saw her kick the door, she shot herself in the face, so... That's like death by circumstance. <laughs> but, you know, he still got her. Allison and her crew of vigilantes, Cameron and Lonnie, the dad eventually came across the bodies these are just like bodies he loves doing stuff to the bodies but if you even look closer those are like the biggest easter eggs you ever seen in any of the halloween movies because if you look closely at the back of their max that is the silver shamrock max that they used in halloween 3 season of the witch that was supposed to be the halloween movie that didn't have michael myers in it but this is a new different timeline so maybe that's the same universe oh the possibilities are crazy oh yeah that's right so there's three of those like shamrock max there's the skull there's the pumpkin and then like green face witch person and i guess uh michael wanted to kill one of each all right i'm gonna leave off on that video with 16 and then when we come back it's gonna be myers going back to the house and running in with cameron and allison oh man it's gonna be great so watch out for that part two and Take it easy. Hey, follow me on everything, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and I'll catch you dudes on the next one. Later, dudes. Oh, by the way, Lindsay Wall survived that whole truck incident. Whoops. Well, you know, she alive, so she ain't on the count, so later.